Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we are not in Sketch, but we are in Adobe XD. I'm super happy to be back in this app because I really enjoy using it. They now have the layer panel that I was waiting for for so long, for such a long time. And I'm very happy to use it because like at any moment that I'm using it, it has like these super features, it's super fast and it's like really showing a process and you can prototype directly within the app which is like amazing, it's great. But what we are going to do today is just to create a new design, a new block article layout and I already created an artboard for that which you will see right here. The fun thing that I explored when uh, working with icons in Adobe XD was the fact that you can go into Sketch because I had no icons for Adobe XD and I searched for an icon. So for example, let's go for this trash bin and you can copy it and you can actually paste it in Adobe XD from Sketch. So we can actually just paste in our Sketch icons into Adobe XD Then you ch simply change the color and there you go, boom, your icon is ready. So that was just something that I wanted to show you. But of course, let's get back into the actual process of designing an app. Now I want to open the UI kit that we're going to use for some certain elements which will be in the end the status bar pasted onto our artboard. The next one, the next thing that we're going to do is to like create a title bar which will feature a menu icon which will also feature like a search icon and the next thing that we will have in like this part of the screen is a way to go from one category like top stories to the other one which is for example the most popular or the latest stories. So what we're going to need as I said is a menu icon. I'm simply going into sketch and I'm simply copying it. Of course you could also go for normal PNGs, SVGs, any icons that you have but in this situation right here I'm just going for this icon set that I have in Sketch because it's for me just super simple to uh, grab them and copy them. So here we have both icons. We can right now just grab them and position them in about in about this position right here. Like that. Let's get some alignment done. Just like that. That's fine. So the next thing is of course to add a title. So I'm going to hit T and we can now simply say this is articles. And I really have to say I love working in Adobe XD because it's so super fast and it's easy, smooth to use. It, it's like the perfect app for me, to be honest. I mean, I love working in Sketch, but working in Adobe XD is just such a fun way to work because it's super fast and stable. I really have to get into all the key strokes that you can use, the key combinations and like to work within several areas because if you hit T you are going to create a new text layer but if you want to move the text layer which you just saw which wasn't really working you have to hit V or select this one right here to just grab it and drag it in any certain position. Okay so for the next part, the navigation part, I would like to just copy the article, the headline and say we want top stories. But we don't want just top stories, we also want the most popular ones and the latest stories. Okay, so this is the most popular and this is latest. Of course these right here shouldn't be thin, they should be like medium or regular and they should be smaller in their font size, like about that. This one can be centered. This one should be aligned to the other part right here. And this is latest and this is 
should have the same spacing. And this is also a feature of Adobe XD, which is just brilliant. So now you can just grab it and you see, boom, 54 pixels is the difference, the distance between top stories and most popular, and you can simply attach it uh, to the latest. Just like that. Then I would like to have like an indicator that which is showing us on which tab we are currently at. So what we're going to new, uh, create is a new rectangle like that. We can simply drag it and I would like to have a dark bar just like that. It shouldn't be that high. So change the height, go back and hit V to go back to the navigation setting and this is like helping us to position it in a correct way. So let me save it up for a second. It's video 175. And after we've done that, we can simply create, for example, a photo that we want to paste right here. So I'm, as you know, usually going to unsplash.com. So of course, let's just head over to this. I would like to go for a black and white photo. So I'm searching for black and white. And we are going to see many great photos. All of them can be used for our project in a great, in a great way. So let's search for a nice one, which is also bringing us some kind of emotion to our design. Maybe this shoe right here looks cool. Isn't 100% in a black and white color, but I think it's totally fine for us. I'm dragging it in. So we have it right here. I want to position it right there and let's just make it smaller and make it fit our screen just like that. So this is going to be the head, the header, the, the like heading part of our design. Right now after that I would like to create a headline. So I would just like to make a group like that this is the top bar the top part and this is the part of the first story the part of the main content so we can also group this up and call it call it content so i copied the top stories part already and i'm pasting it down below this will be the category which can be sports for example and i'm also copying it and pasting it below because this is going to be the headline. So now you can simply type in anything you want, shoe company, anything that just helps you to like get your design some content. But you have to also be careful with the content that you are creating. And if you're using like lorem ipsum, it can be a struggle for your clients to see some weird text going on in your designs and they may be wondering why are you using, using such a weird language and what does that mean? So be sure to sometimes also just use normal language, use normal real content and not using any fake content. But for this tutorial, I think it's just fine to use any like real language, of course. So, what I would like to use is a serif font. Making it bigger would be quite nice. Like that. One thing that I'm missing in, the, in Adobe XD is the fact that you can't really see the style of the actual font. So it's they all have the same font family in this menu, in this list right here. But I of course would like to get some idea of what font I'm actually choosing. And I want a serif font. So we could like click through this. And I think this one also looks kind of fun. So we are going to use just this one for now, like this. Let's say we want to break it at this point. And after that, I'm going to copy it because, oops, I'm going to cut the layer because I would like to display below this headline the same content over and over again because it's going to be our like preview of the content of this blog article. So 
what we need to do is to change the font again. I want to get back to Helvetica. Oops, Helvetica Neue. Right there, regular is fine. And now let's change the font size and make it smaller. Um, if you have a tip for me on how to get the content in a, like in the sketch, you have this fixed and flexible option. I'm not really sure if I have that right here, but it's still out working out fine for me. So I just have to make a small workaround with this text. They are adding more and more features every like month. And I think this will also follow very soon to not just have to do this, what I'm doing right now on any of your designs. So this is the finished part of the description. Maybe let's put down this company on the same line on the last line and we are ready to go. So this is like the bottom part and I think we already created a cool design. What we are going to do now is to copy this layer again because right now we are finishing the bottom part of an article of an entry which will contain like the uh, time when it was posted and this was posted 11 hours ago just like that. You can make it smaller and on the other hand I would like to display a heart so people can create a favorite or add it to their favorites and I would also like to add a sharing icon. I think in this material design I can set sharing looks kind of different but here it is as well so we can paste it in. We can also paste in the heart which is right there. Boom. Both of them are right here. Sharing icon and the heart heart icon like that. So both of them should be placed in this bottom right area. Sharing should be on really on the right side and the heart should be right next to it. Just like that. So this is the first article. For the next one we could, should, we could just copy this article and drag it below our first article just like that add some spacing and of course we would need a different photo. So I'm going back and I'm going to I'm going to take this one. It's also not 100% black and white but to keep the same style which is this not 100% black and white style uh, is to just use this one and not a real 100% black and white photo. So you see I just dragged it in and it just replaced the photo that we used before and this is also something really unique and really enhancing the process of designing an app which makes such so much fun because in sketch usually I would just have to do all the same stuff that I had to do with this first photo so resizing it position it in the correct way and right here in the second one I was just super easy it was just super easy to just drag it in I could do it just like that. It's keeping the proportions, the size and anything and I can just drag it in to the photo. So this is pretty amazing, pretty easy to use of course. So this was video 150, 175. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this new tutorial in Adobe XD. It was fun to create this and I'm looking forward to create more videos in this app because it's fun. I like it. I like the process. But of course I will continue doing videos in Sketch like next week. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to also like and subscribe. If you want to support me in a financial way you can head over to the video des description. There is my link to Patreon. Patreon is a website where you can support me. I will have a live chat just today on this day when the video will come out on Wednesday. There is a live chat and you can be part of it by pledging $5 a month each month. 
you can also do this for just one month but yeah just head over to the link everything else will be described right at this location so the link to download this one is down in the video description thank you for your time guys enjoy your week see you